man wanted to get married and all the girls in the city were wearing wedding dresses and saying they'd marry him, he ran a few blocks, and before he could lose them, a whole bunch of girls came running down the street next to him, Jack was so dumbfounded, he could only bury his head in the sand and run for his life, he's only like this because he had a rich grandfather who wanted him to get married, he left Jack an inheritance of 100 million dollars, but he had to get married before he turned 30, and today is his 30th birthday, as the king of the sea, Jack thought it would be easy, but he didn't realize that he'd asked dozens of ex-girlfriends, but none of them had succeeded, just when Jack was about to give up, his best friend Fatty gave him a big trick, Fatty directly in the newspaper placed an advertisement for marriage while Jack's situation is clearly stated, the whole town was abuzz with the idea of marrying into a rich family, people of all ages came to Jack's church in their wedding dresses, Jack slept in the church and woke up to a scene that scared him and made him wonder if he was still dreaming, Fatty knew something was wrong and went up on stage and said it was just a prank and everyone should leave, but the crowd didn't buy it and said they wanted an explanation, Furious, Jack grabbed Fatty who wanted to run away and was about to punch him when he heard that his girlfriend, Anna, was coming back. It turns out that after Jack's proposal yesterday, Anna decided to say yes. Now Jack couldn't think of anything else but to sneak out of the church and go to the station to pick up Anna. But there was a group of brides squatting outside who saw him coming out and followed him. Jack was so scared that he took a cab to the station. He managed to coax Anna back to her. But in the time it took to change her dress, Jack was being chased around by the brides. Even the sheriff tried to keep order but the brides overthrew him, with Jack trapped in the building. The pastor had the bright idea to use the radio to read the wedding vows. Anna made it to Jack's side, and they explained everything and apologized. With everyone watching, Jack and Anna got married and lived happily ever after.